What's up guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about an app that doesn't get nearly the love and attention that it deserves. It's an app that really contends with the best art programs out there. It may even be the best art program on the App Store. That's really for you to decide, but in my opinion, that's what it is. Let's check it out. So today we're not actually talking about Procreate, although many of you may have assumed that that is the app we may be talking about. Procreate already gets a lot of love, a lot of attention in the App Store. I think it's rated one of Apple's like highest rated apps or something like that. They're doing all right, they're doing fine. I wanna to talk to you about another app that may actually be a little bit better depending on your needs. I'm talking about RStudio Pro. So RStudio Pro recently got a new update that changed some things about the UI, made it a lot more streamlined, gave it many new features, and it's really just overall more user-friendly. So maybe six months ago, I would have said that, yeah, RStudio Pro is pretty good, but it has, you know, it has a few problems and there's some things that could really be worked out. There's a few kinks, uh, especially in the UI and maybe some things with brush performance. But now, in all honesty, RStudio Pro is probably the best art app in the App Store. Now, I know this comment could get a lot of hate because there are a lot of people out there who love Procreate. And I mean, honestly, I used to be somebody who loved Procreate as well. And I still love Procreate to a certain degree, but it's definitely not my first choice as an art app. It used to be, but not so much anymore. Now, for anybody who is heavily reliant on a painterly style, I would still say that Procreate is probably the app that you should go with. Their brushes for painting in particular are actually really, really good. And their UI, of course, is amazing. I'm sure you guys know this already. but if painting isn't particularly your first trade, I would say that RStudio Pro could probably fill all of your other needs. If you do comics, if you do character design like I do, if you do anything that is line work heavy, I would say RStudio Pro is the way to go. Now, you may not be sure what Procreate has for you versus RStudio, so I've made a little comparison list just highlighting some key points that show what RStudio has versus what Procreate has. And I'm talking about things that are exclusive to those apps. So there are some things that RStudio has that Procreate doesn't. There are some things that Procreate has that RStudio doesn't. And the first one is full stop. If you are an animator and you want to use an art app for animation, RStudio has absolutely no animation features whatsoever. So do not go with RStudio. You'll be sorely disappointed, sorely disappointed. The animation in Procreate is fantastic. I've done character turnarounds and various animations for my Twitch channel with Procreate and it's fantastic. So the animation features are awesome and they can really only get better. So if you're an animator, definitely, definitely go with Procreate. If you are also somebody who likes a robust community behind the app that you're using, Procreate has you covered there. Procreate has a really awesome community. I've been posting in the forums for a few years now, and once in a while, Savage does like to actually chime in on their forum posts. Uh, like I said before, in the last video, we actually do have a thread that is nearing 100,000 viewers for a brush smoothing feature that Procreate currently does not have that we're, you know, I'm pretty sore about that, I'm not gonna lie. But it does show that Savage is very interested in their community and building a community around this fantastic app. And I do wanna call it fantastic because it really is a wonderful app. It may not be for me personally, but it is a wonderful app. And for the final thing that Procreate definitely has over ArtStudio is the UI. The UI for Procreate is something that has been chipped away like a fine marble statue over the years. It's just an amazing UI and it's amazing how many features they can cram into this tiny little system that actually has looked pretty much the same since day one, but they've crammed so many more features into it. So UI definitely goes to Procreate. Now we're going to move on to Art Studio. Some things that Art Studio has over Procreate. The top thing that Art Studio has over Procreate for me is brush support. And when I say brush support, I mean Photoshop brushes. If you want to bring in a Photoshop brush into Procreate, you are going to have... Nine times out of 10, you're gonna have a pretty difficult time dealing with all of the stuff that happens in Procreate. I honestly don't even know what happens in Procreate. You bring in a brush, it looks completely different. I don't know what they do. <laughs> I don't know what happens in there. But you're gonna have a really hard time trying to get your brush to look the same way it did in Photoshop versus the way it does in Procreate. In Art Studio, you can pretty much drag and drop a Photoshop brush and nine times out of 10, the complete reverse of Procreate it's almost guaranteed to work every time. Every brush that I brought in from Photoshop into Art Studio has functioned basically the way it's supposed to from Photoshop into Art Studio. It's it's amazing. Now, if you watched my last video on the flaws of Procreate 5X, you already know what's coming when I'm talking about Art Studio. Brush smoothing in Art Studio is fantastic. There's honestly, it's it's just incredible. I don't even have 
I don't even have proper words for it. It's amazing. It is like taking Lazy Nozumi from a few years ago and also taking some elements from Procreate and just meshing them into the perfect system. And when I say they're meshed into the perfect system, I mean in the newest Art Studio update, they have added three different types of brush smoothing they have. They have the rope smoothing, which is very similar to the classic way that brush stabilizers used to work back in the day. It would be like a long rope animation and you could kind of like make smooth lines with that. Your hand can move really slow, no problem. They also have a feature called spring, which is the one that I prefer, which functions the way that a lot of modern smoothing works in many other art apps. This smoothing is sort of what I view as the classic smoothing. It is the perfect mesh between something like the way Procreate smooths things and the extreme smoothing of using a rope. And now the newest smoothing feature that Art Studio has is called Live Spring. And if you're familiar with the smoothing in Procreate called Streamline, Live Spring is the exact same thing. If you do anything like calligraphy or anything where you like that springy live smoothing, you'll get that in this app. So you don't even need Procreate for that anymore. So I, I got to give it to Art Studio on this. They really knocked it out of the park with their smoothing. Honestly, you can barely tell that it's there, which is, I guess, the appeal of it. But I'm not a huge fan of this. That's the reason why I complain so much about Procreate smoothing. But the fact that they gave this to us is incredible. The fact that they gave this to us when, I'm honestly, we weren't even asking for it. But now... They have completely cornered the market when it comes to different types of brush smoothing. A lot of apps only have one type. This one has three. And that's amazing. So, I mean, honestly, that's a big point for Art Studio. And our third and final point for Art Studio goes to having robust tools. And when I say robust tools, I don't just mean things like brushes or like the ability to crop. Both Procreate and Art Studio have those things. But when I say robust tools, I mean features that usually only desktop applications have. I'm talking about things as simple as the magic wand tool. And I know Procreate has a magic wand tool, but you can't even do things like expand your selection when it comes to Procreate. But in here, you have basically as many tools as you need. So basically, if you're used to using tools in like Photoshop or other desktop applications where you can do things like Hey guys, I'm just cutting in here really quick. My audio cut out during this portion of the video, uh, so I figured I would chime in here. I was explaining how the various tools that exist in Art Studio seem a lot more robust than they do in Procreate, and I was going to give an example of the Magic Wand tool. In the, ma the Magic Wand tool in Procreate is very basic. You can do simple things like feathering your selection, which is great, but in Art Studio, you can actually do things like expand your selection by a certain number of pixels and many other features like that that really give you a, ro a robust tool set. And if you wanted to do things like making stickers or just even making an outline around your selection that doesn't take forever, Art Studio is the way to go. So really, that's an easy point for Art Studio. Okay, back to the video. Little things like that don't seem like a big deal right now, but when you need them, it's really going to hurt. But at the end of the day, when you're picking an art app, really, the longer you spend with one, the more you're going to learn about what kinks and what problems it has, but you're also going to learn the ins and outs of that program and how to use it to your advantage. So really, no matter what art program you get, they're all honestly fantastic, and you can make quality work with any of them. But guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you'd like to support me further, you can find a link to my Patreon below, where I'll be posting more videos that have to do with maybe tutorials or just like showing off my process. And if you'd rather see me live, I actually stream Monday through Friday starting at 9 a.m. Pacific time over on twitch.tv slash So if you want to hit me up over there, that'll also be in the description below. Thank you so much, guys. I hope this may have opened your eyes to what art program you want to pick in the future. And once again, they're all fantastic and happy arting. I will catch you guys later.